Greetings my fellow lovers of tunes and welcome back to another home free reaction video here on the channel where we enjoy the music of course. Now I'm very excited, I'm very happy that we are getting another home free song and this one is called I Still Believe in You. Um, the last video that we did was like middle August somewhere I believe it was something to talk about. It was Bastine's first video with home free, like the first official video that I've seen except for the introduction where they introduced him to like the YouTube fans and the home fries. I think he is absolutely incredible. He has a brilliant voice but I haven't heard too much of his voice as yet and I really would like to get to know him a little bit more and a get to know what he's capable of and sees like flexibility with his voice and all these little things that we have grown accustomed to with the home free group although i still think he's a brilliant fit i really would like to know him more just like for my personal preferences I, I would like to see what else he is capable of and i'm hoping that we get a little taste of that in this song it's called uh, it's called i still believe in you and i think it's an original of this if i remember correctly uh so let's just get into it and then we will discuss it afterwards as always <laughs> Everybody wants a little piece of my time But still I put you at the end of the line And how it breaks my heart to cause you this pain To see the tears you cry falling like rain
before I get into it, I think I made a mistake. I think I said this was uh, original. And as I was listening to it, the song sounded very familiar. And I have heard it before. I believe this is the... Is it Vince Gill? I believe is the original or the, the version that I know. It's not a Home Free original. So I do apologize for that mistake. But what a beautiful song. Oh my goodness. You know, this is, this is exactly what I mean. Like the first debut song, something to talk about was a fun little interaction to give us a taste of what he's capable of. But then Home Free goes, they give him a whole song where he takes the lead and truly just wins us over with beautiful vocals and heartfelt emotion throughout this whole song. That was truly incredibly done. And I think it's almost safe to say that I am now officially won over in the sense of with Bastine being in this group and what he is capable of. And I really think he has such an incredible talent and such a beautiful voice. The other guys on the song really did a phenomenal job as well. I think it really, over the years, it really takes quite a lot or it takes quite a bit of recognition or I don't know what the right word is. Like to realize that the other guys have such an important role to play, even if there's a song where only one person really does all the vocals. And in this, you can clearly hear it. Tim, with his amazing bass notes, is always a pleasure to listen to. It's always fun listening to songs like this multiple times and focusing on a different aspect of it because you get a different feel of the song and you get like to hear it more and more. And then Adam, of course, on the percussion, the the rest of the guys with the harmonies as well rob that that little flair that he added into it you can go on and on about this group and how incredible they are but i really think that this was a brilliant way to give bestine a way to show us what he is capable of and almost like let everyone that still has a little bit of has a little bit of a doubt in their mind be at ease and see that he is here to stay and he fits right in he is incredibly talented and he just fits in so well with the guys the harmonies that these guys have when they start the song always puts me into this relaxing sort of meditative state whenever it starts i don't know why but it's only like a few groups and artists that can do it but it's such an amazing feeling when they start singing you immediately know that whatever you're going to hear now it's going to be something brilliant but the song itself is so so beautiful as well and i want to speak a little on it not too much because we can sit here the whole day and speak about it as well but it is so important like the message in this and i think they did it so well with the music video as we know by now they are brilliant story storytellers and i think they did a brilliant job with this i love that they had them just singing in the background in like that sort of rainy feeling um really good fit isn't it but the story they told in it is so beautiful and it really makes you think as well that when you like for example when you meet someone for the first time it's always like so much fun it's so much energy so much new things to explore getting to know one another and all these different things and then when you get married and time goes by i mean i'm only this year like in a f two months from now ish um i'll be married for eight years and it's already i know maybe it's relatively new for or still young for other people but even now i can start to realize that the same sort of something that came naturally in the beginning takes a little bit more effort now and i'm not saying that it should be effort or it is effort but it takes more realization that you need to focus on these things you need to give attention to the person in your life because otherwise you will just grow apart you will just fade away from each other because that that sort of i don't know attraction that you had in the beginning that sort of natural attraction that you had and like the newness of it all is over now and I, I i saw this video a while back by like as a recording this now that was really interesting and it really made me thought as well that um it said there's always the 2080 rule like when you meet someone for the first time you're in a in a relationship they are everything that you want and or not everything that you want but it's they put it in a in the style of they are 80 percent of everything you want in a person for example um 
And then as you grow older and you mature into the relationship and you get more comfortable with each other and they become like a partner, not that sort of lover in a sense anymore, then you get to see that this person, there's things that, that are missing that then you start to focus on the 20% the twenty that you don't have and you see the 20% in someone else. And that's normally when like cheating gets involved or like you start talking to other people, you're envious of other people because of that 20%. You've, you, you've grown accustomed to the 80% that you're used to, but you don't realize in that moment, if you are to leave this relationship, you are settling for 20% and now you are left with an open of 80%. I'm probably not summarizing the video correctly, but it was something along the lines of that. And I think this is very beautifully done or said in this video as well, that you need to put in the effort. You need to start like making time for one another because life is crazy. It's mad. You can live past it, one another. And there's so many things going on, so many distractions. And if you don't put in the time and the effort to focus on your relationship, you can start drifting away. And then at the end of the day, you sit there and think to yourself, how did it happen? How did we get there? Like that point where he was just sitting, staring at his computer, completely, completely ignoring her. Like, how do you get to a point like that and yet when time goes by and you've you've grown like sort of used to one another stuff like that happens it's it's a very interesting topic like i said we can speak about it for hours but i just want to mention it i think it's a beautiful message in the song and i think they did such a brilliant job of telling the story like in the music video as well and it really made me feel like sort of emotional as well because you can see and so many relationships in everyday life that stuff like this happens. And it sort of like brings you back and makes you realize that you need to put in the time and effort for one another. And remember why you chose one another and why you chose to spend the rest of your days together. It's so beautiful. But in any case, I really enjoy that. Bastien is incredible. He sounds amazing. The group is still phenomenal. And I'm looking forward to the next one. I'm very happy now. I'm settled now. I'm just, I'm very excited to to continue this journey and discover and see what else he has in store and how he's going to fit in with the rest of the guys and all these things but i'm happy i'm very happy that he joined them and i'm very happy that he is as brilliant as he is but in any case let me know what you guys think about the song uh what are your thoughts on this what do you think about the rendition of it and just what do you think about Bastien? do you think he is a good fit for the group i'm sure a lot of people by now has made up their minds if he is or not and it's all personal choice, but it's still fun hearing from you guys as well. But I'm going to leave this one here. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy out there. Remember to check up on one another. And then I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. But until then, remember, music is medicine.